What's up guys, Josh here again, and today we have a week 17 Icarus content update. They've changed the mission drop timers and more. Also this week, just want to let you know, we're going to do the video a little different than we have been. Let me know in the comments down below how you liked this week's video. Let's get into it, shall we? Week 17 in-game timer. Icarus update week 17 in-game timer. Drop time is now based on in-game time. Customizable difficulty. Added a new mission. New beta items and bug fixes. This week they have changed the Icarus mission timer system, which this ain't no April Fool's joke. The in-game mission timer has been changed from a real-time timer to an in-game timer. What this means is that when your character is down in a prospect, the timer you see above is how much time is left on that prospect. And once you leave the prospect, that timer stops. Your in-game timer or mission timer now will only move while you're in-game. It's very important for me to note, do not stay on a mission for more than 90 days. In online mode, your prospect save game will be deleted after 90 days. So try to do a mission within three months, roughly. But also keep in mind that any offline prospect is kept indefinitely and are permanent. And also, if you're currently on a prospect, your existing prospect timer will be refreshed and converted over to the new system. The next thing they added is the mission difficulty options. What does this mean? It basically means that there are three difficulties now available in any prospect or most prospects. So all missions now have three different settings. Easy, which gives you negative 50% rewards. Medium, which gives you base rewards. And hard, which gives you an additional 50% of rewards. Then you also have the option to check on Hardcore, which gives you additional 50% in rewards. But of course, make the mission much harder. When you change to hard or to hardcore, you'll see the modifiers here to the right of the mission, which increases the creature's health, movement speed, and etc. Also on missions, you'll see the option for insurance. Insurance means that the character will not be lost when the prospect ends but it also gives you a negative 33% reduction in rewards. As you can see on the map, there are no more red icons for hardcore mode because they most missions can be made hardcore. It looks like even the second mission you do in Icarus can be made into hardcore. Now keep in mind that the plus 50% is from medium base rewards. So for example, on terrain scan here, you have a base reward, which is medium, which is the normal difficulty of 67. If you were to do the easy version of that, you would only get 34, which is negative 50%. But if you were to go to hard and hardcore, it would be 50% plus 50%, which is 134. 67 plus 67 is 134. They've also added it on the map for missions that will unlock special items or special abilities. They also went with the temperature rebalance, which may I say, Nanio works much better now. And they have completely rebalanced the new system to account for more auxiliary sources of temperature. Most gear now also has the safe zone modifier back. As you can see, with full Nanio armor now, there's a large safe area. You're not still 100%, but it's still pretty good. So now the safe area is back. And this goes with any gear you see, you'll see your safe area for that gear. Being naked puts your safe area at much smaller. But like I said, with Nanio, it's much larger. So for example, you'll have the safe area, which means you won't get cold or hot, but once you get into these blue for hypothermia and for cold and red for hyperthermia and heat exhaustion. And this update brings six new workshop items, the Larkwell Martinez brand. They've been known for developing tools and weaponry that hits hard, but tough times and budget cuts means the quality and durability isn't quite what it once was. You'll find the Larkwell Martinez Axe, the Larkwell Martinez Pickaxe, the Larkwell Martinez Sickle, Larkwell Martinez Hammer, Larkwell Martinez Spear, and the Larkwell Martinez Knife. All available for about 1400 exotics each, with research and crafting cost. 1400 exotics. Or a sickle. They now have the new mission, Preservation Stockpile. Here we go. You got this. Thanks, Sol. 
spoiler alert on this mission, but you must drop down and get several pieces of dried meats and upload them to a drop pod. And as always, we'll go over the most important things on the detailed change log. They've also added a brand new mission end screen. It looks like frost nip and heat stroke occurs after about five minutes in cold or heat at a 10% chance every two minutes thereafter. So you don't want to stay cold or hot for too long. Also keep in mind that resistances now shift the safe zones. They fixed several crashes. Bacon now has its icon changed. And this is what bacon looks like. To the left is uncooked, to the right is cooked. The heat bandage now looks different than the basic bandage. They've updated to say steam friends instead of just friends. It's the same thing though. You have just private and steam friends. And that's when you're starting a mission. On the main screen, we now have a Discord, patch notes, and feedback link, and also a video to watch Icarus, No Rescue. I'll also put a link of that in our description and a link below for the full detailed patch notes as well. But if you haven't watched this whole video, one thing I will say about the video. None of us knew what to expect. Not back then. Keep in mind at about 523, they kind of show us a little bit about vehicles. And I'm kind of excited about that. I'm also very excited about the temperature changes. They seem very well balanced. Oh, she's like a moth to a flame. Overall, I believe it was a pretty small patch, but a really big update. And that's it for this update. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Don't forget to ring that bell. It'll let you know when we have new Icarus videos. And as stated, I'm going to try to roll out some new videos this week. I have to completely redo a few of them with the new updates. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace.